it was just about a year ago that Yahoo purchased Tumblr. Mm -hmm. So there was a headline just recently that said, no regrets uh -huh. after a year. Just between us, really? <laughs> really, I mean, look, they, um, they made a, an incredibly compelling case a year ago. Marissa and her team spent a lot of time with us in New York. This was a chance for us to have a conversation with somebody who could bring a bit more to the table than just writing a check. And uh, look, they were real believers in this path that we were on and uh, you know, determined to help us get there even faster uh, in any ways that they could help. A you know, big first example of that uh, was the ad tech that powers all of the targeting, all of the analytics, and a whole lot more of the, the ad capabilities that we're going to be shipping this year. Uh, that's all powered by Yahoo now. Do you have like a, a one or two sentence mission? Look, our purpose in the world, everything that we started this thing for and everything that we try and do always comes back to empowering creators to make their best work and get it in front of an audience they deserve. And we put the tools out there into the world, and um, we don't really prescribe how people are going to use them. We just try and stretch the canvas a little bit. We try and up the, the GIF limit so people can post longer loops. We support high-res panoramas or photo sets, or uh, just last week we, we added the ability to customize how your blog looks on the small rectangle, which you know traditionally there hasn't been HTML in the small screen in the way that there was on the big desktop webs. You know, we ship those tools, and then we're just surprised thousands and thousands of times over by what people do with them. It's this unbelievably fulfilling mission, and it's one that I think is really underserved in this technology industry that we're in today. I, just, I don't think if you look at any of the, the other big networks right now, Google or Facebook or Twitter, uh, even Apple today is really particularly concerned with the creative community, the people that actually make the stuff that we enjoy. They're, they're obsessed with social, they're obsessed yeah. with communication, they're obsessed with discovery, but not actually empowering the people that make the stuff that we all like to talk about. I mean, we're, we're coming out of a world that was made up of HTML pages that could be anything, and have now been squeezed into you know, white profile pages on Facebook, and are now being squeezed into square photos and six second videos. It's just really a shame to me to think that we're telling those aspiring and talented creators, like, make it square, make it six seconds. That's that very engineer's rule, the world mentality that I think underserves that creative community. Some people like looked back and they said, boy, it was like MySpace. MySpace had these, like allowed these messier personal spaces there, and you know, and people wound up avoiding them because like they were so ugly generally. And so the big setback for MySpace was actually that all that customization was hacked in there. It wasn't actually supported by the platform, which meant that as people were like hacking their, their MySpace pages apart, they were breaking a lot of functionality along the way. And that meant that MySpace wasn't in a position to change anything because it would cause all that customization to break because it was all hacked in there. At the same time, though, people cherished their MySpace pages. They were meticulous about customizing those things. And I think we've brought even more customization into mm -hmm. Tumblr while solving all of the issues that you know, were to the detriment of previous platforms like GeoCities or MySpace. And I think rather than trying to work through those issues, the general course that the rest of the industry took was like, let's just abolish it. Let's give everybody a vanilla white profile page. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's giving up a lot. Maybe useful when you're trying to make something that is just about keeping up to date with people, but when it really comes to expression and empowering creators to make stuff that we love and make stuff that surprises us, I think it's a, a real detriment to that community. Mm -hmm.